Well, more money for K through 12 education and pay raises for state workers. Those are just a couple of highlights of the budget decisions being made today in Annapolis. At this hour, a House committee is making significant changes to the governor's spending plan. 11 News reporter David Collins joins us live from the state house with more details. David. Well, so far, the biggest change is in education funding, the amount of education funding, which is a Democratic priority. A feeding frenzy. Everyone from special interests to concerned citizens vying for details of changes made to Governor Hogan's budget proposal. The restoration of education funds, uh, we're going to make it happen. Let's start by reviewing our. So far, the prediction is coming true. The House Appropriations Committee voted in favor of increasing funds to education. The Hogan administration wanted to set a new baseline for funding and reduce the rate of increases. The committee is set to make sure the 2% pay bump for state employees remains in place. The governor proposed eliminating it to shrink the budget deficit. The money comes from reducing contributions to the state worker pension fund. Also under consideration, slowing repayments to a local income tax reserve fund. The committee voted to adopt a 2.2% increase in funding for the developmentally disabled. The governor proposed a 1.75% increase. And you're upset that we're not going to 3.5%, and I think that's really something you ought to talk to the governor about. I don't hold the governor responsible. The governor didn't make the promise. We made the promise. The committee rejected an administration proposal to use slot community impact grant money for education. The committee sent a strong message to state agencies. Many face a reduction in spending until they address repeat audit findings. The committee agreed to decrease police aid to local jurisdictions. I will not do that. And to reduce the cap on film tax credits. Last year, the House of Cards production threatened to leave if it wasn't increased. In an effort to get the state center project off the shelf, state lawmakers are demanding a status report. This is not a new project. It's, you know, it's been going on for some time. And we just felt that, you know, we needed to get answers. The governor issued a statement saying, in part, there are concerns about certain proposals in the committee's recommendations. I believe we're headed in the right direction overall. And he added, ultimately, the budget process will not be complete without meaningful discussion on tax relief. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.